3. OK, so for this problem, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of compare it to the problem we just did. On the last problem, when we did our composition of functions, what we did is we took the cosine of 1, and then we took the inverse of that afterwards, right? Right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the inverse sine of sine, and then we're going to take the sine of um, then we're now we're going to take the sine of the function. Now, I don't have a calculator to solve this problem to go and double check it. You could easily just do that, though. Take the arc inverse sine of 0.3 and then take the sine. But remember, to do that, there's a couple things we need to understand. When you're using the inverse, right? Inverse sine of x. We me remember we talked about the domain and range, right? The domain of the inverse function. That means the value that you are going to plug in, right, your input values, has to be between negative 1 and 1. Is this value within that domain? Yeah, right? That's point 0.3. That's between negative 1 and 1. So can you take the inverse of the function? Yes. So we're good, right? I don't know what the range is going to be, but we know, or I don't know what the output would be, what that actually is, but I know I can go ahead and take the domain of it. Now, just for fun, even though we're not going to evaluate, Remember, the range had to be between negative pi is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to pi halves. Right? That was for your range. So the angle would have to make sure we go through there. But we don't need to evaluate this problem because if I look at sine of x, the domain is between there. And then let's look at just the sine of x function. If now, so whatever we figure out this value is, I don't know what it is. Let's call this value y, right? Whatever inverse sine of 0.3 is. Sine of x. The domain of sine of x, if you guys look at the, the sine of x problem, what is the domain? What, is there any x values that x can, or is there any values of x that cannot be a part of the sine function? Does it go on and on and on forever? Right? So the domain for sine is negative infinity, comma infinity. So therefore, does it matter really what I have inside this parenthesis? Am I able to take the sine of that angle? Am I able to take the sine of that angle? Yeah. So therefore, what I'm really doing is I definitely can take the inverse sine of this, and then I can take the sine of it. So what exactly are sine and inverse sine doing to each other? Or what do the inverses? How do they just, yeah, they really just kind of cancel their operations out, or they undo each other out. So really, my answer is just going to be 0.3. Okay, so now the only difference with this or with other problems that are similar to this is you have to make sure they either fall within the domain or range of what you're trying to evaluate. Like for instance, the last problem I did, we couldn't just cancel them out because that uh, angle didn't fall within the range. Does that kind of make sense? How there's gonna, how I'm gonna like.